If you are a newer player, you probably received Shaman as your seven day login reward, and she is an epic champion, an orc, and for a while she's probably going to be your only reviver. The problem is, I don't think she's that great of a reviver, but we're going to talk about that today. So here you're going to see that the newer player rewards show uh, Jizzo. I, I called him Jizzlord for quite some time. But before this, you get Shaman as a login reward. And let's go over her skills real quick. I pro like I promise I won't spend too much time. Attacks one enemy with a 35% chance when booked to remove a random buff from the target. She's an attack based champion. Increased crit rate. That's a small version of increased crit rate on a three turn cooldown. But this right here as a support champion is quite nice to have, especially in faction wars. So let's go over it. It's just a revive one ally with 50% of her HP and then places a shield. This is on a five turn cooldown. I do think that is a long cooldown. Plus you need to get books for her. So early on, epic books, unless you're pay to win, are going to be relatively short in supply. There is one side of the coin that says build shaman, because early on, you're probably not going to have a reviver. And particularly for faction wars, I don't think you're going to have a reviver in the orc faction for quite some time. And doing faction wars is worth doing. Even if you're still a long time away from getting Lydia, you still benefit greatly from receiving those glyphs, the speed glyphs particularly. Now, there aren't too many other champions, I think, that revive in this faction. Yorg is a great one. I think Taguar is a great one, also on a five turn cooldown, but he also provides a revive for all allies and then also gives a shield. Then he does an AoE with increased speed. I feel like he brings more to the table, plus decreased damage uh, received. And then Yorg is somebody that I used in Faction Wars uh, a long time ago before I finished Faction Wars because he's got revived two random allies. This was before Taguar was even introduced. I used Shaman as food. I, I personally, here, here's the thing. She requires so much. Early on, it's going to be hard to really get the best use out of her. Seven turns to wait for a cooldown is is wild. And if you get epic books, I don't think that I would be booking her first over somebody like Deacon. If you pull Deacon or use the promo code um, superpowers to get Deacon or any of the other great epic champions that are provided to you if you're starting a new account. I am not going to recommend that you just straight up feed her. I do recommend at best maybe bring her to Faction Wars and bring her to level 50. You are going to want to have a reviver for that faction. That was one of the last factions that I cleared out in Faction Wars. I don't even know if I can show you guys. Uh, oh, so here, the Orc Crypt is open right now. And this boss, I remember it was quite difficult to do, and that's why I built Yorg out all the way to level 60, I think it was, because he was my only reviver, but still I had to do that a few times. And then another argument against keeping her is that it's only a revival for one person, for one champion. And that isn't really a great thing to have because obviously you want to be able to bring back more champions should you have uh, an issue. Now, you might be saying, Burrito, I'm not even focused on Faction Wars or I've given up on Faction Wars. I'm not even going to bother with it. Is Shaman worth building out and maxing out all the way to 60? I don't think so. I don't think that her kit provides enough to warrant a 60, and especially in the beginning, chickens are in short supply. I don't think I would I would spend the time or the gems to get masteries for her either. Now she does bring 23% increase to defense, which will help for survivability again, but I don't know. I think that it's okay to bring her to 50 and then keep her around for a little bit in case you end up not pulling any champions like Yorg or Taguar or any other uh, legendary re um, or any other legendary revive champions. However, there is one support champion that does an AoE revive that you can get very early on in the game, almost right at the start, and that is Jamarsa. She has a revive on a five turn cooldown, but still she revives the entire team with HP with extra turn meter. And if you want to see a video on how to get her, check out this video right here. Oh,